Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we are going to be playing around with water, dry rice, vinegar, and baking soda. These are the items that you're going to need to do today's little experiment. And I want to tell you what, this is a pretty dynamic demonstration. What I've done is I've taken this large container and I filled it all oh, maybe two-thirds full with water. I dissolved in the water probably about a quarter cup of baking soda. Now, I'm going to take some rice and I'm going to add it to the water. Now you see the rice sinking to the bottom of the container. See that rice there? Now watch this. This is the interesting part of today's experiment. The rice isn't very heavy and it just barely sinks. It wants to float, but it's not quite, it doesn't quite have enough buoyancy to actually float. So we're going to do something. We're going to take this solution of water and ordinary baking soda, and we are going to add to it some vinegar. And watch what happens. Look at that. Look at it bubble up. Look at that. Now, once we get that all in there and bubbly like that, wow, what a reaction. You're going to start to notice something. The rice begins to rise to the surface. That's because carbon dioxide bubbles that are occurring now in this solution attach to the rice and rise it to the top. But then when they get to the top, the little rice grains of rice, the bubbles break and the rice goes back to the bottom. So what you end up with is dancing rice. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got plenty of baking soda and plenty of vinegar because you want a lot of bubbles. And the more bubbles that you have, watch now. Now that'll really get going that I've added a little bit more baking soda. We'll let the bubbles settle here a little bit and look what happens. Dancing rice. The rice rises to the top, the bubbles break, and it falls back down to the bottom. Let me pull you in a little bit closer so you can get a better look at this. Look at that. The rice is dancing. I call this dancing rice because it climbs to the top and falls back down to the bottom. And it's really quite dynamic and quite impressive. And it'll just keep doing this for a very long time. For as long as the carbon dioxide bubbles continue to build up inside of this solution, and it continues to create those bubbles, the rice will dance. Wow, it's pretty cool. I hope you can see that well. Look at that. The rice is dancing up and down and up and down. It's like the whole jar has come to life. Truly a very cool little experiment. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, hey, Mr. G, I don't have a jar that's that gigantic. Don't worry about it. Here I've got a really little jar. And, hang on, got some more rice here. We're gonna add rice to get this. And we're gonna add some vinegar. Now, this is, again, baking soda and water. The amount of baking soda in this jar is just a small amount, probably about two teaspoons to a tablespoon or so. And watch what happens here. The same thing will start to occur in our small jar. So you can get just about as dynamic an effect as the dancing rice in the giant jar in a much smaller environment. See? Look at the rice dancing. Isn't that cool? So there you have it. Dancing rice. You can say that you saw it here first on Do Try This at Home. I'm Mr. G and I hope to see you next time right here on Do Try This at Home.
Pretty cool, huh? But I know what you're probably saying to yourself right now. You're probably saying, but Mr. G, I don't have a jar that gigantic. Don't worry about it. It'll work just as well with a really small jar like this. Here I've got a jar that I probably added maybe about a tablespoon of baking soda to. We're gonna add some rice. And I'm gonna pour in some vinegar. Watch this. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my vinegar in and watch what the rice does. Check it out. Whoa, don't oh, overflow. Seems I forgot to add the rice. Oh. Hey boy. 